Hey, Trey here with Daddy Mojo. We talk about books. We talk about a lot of children's books here uh, of varying degrees. Some of them are more advanced, some comic books, some graphic novels, and some classic books. Uh, we refer to this book as a new classic. Uh, it's been about two years, maybe three years, since we designated the book a new classic. And by new classic, we mean a book that it's new and it's contemporary. It was released very, very recently. However, it's got that vibe that you could hop into a time machine in 30 years forward and re-release the book and it's going to feel as new, as fresh as it did when it was first released. Likewise, you can go back 30 years, re-release, pre-release the book then, and the book is going to register with as many audiences as it is now. And that's why Poco and the Drum, if you check a lot of the critics list for best children's books of 2019, Poco and the Drum was all over those lists and for good reason. If you look at the cover, just check out the illustrations. It feels like a book that maybe was released in the late 70s. It feels like Frog and Toad to me, and I forget what that book's official name was. But we had it as a kid. We loved it, but we don't have our copy of it. I don't know why. I think my mom threw it away. Urgh. This is one of those books that you're not going to throw away. You're not going to give to the library. You're not going to give to the elementary school. You're going to keep it forever uh, because it, it has that vibe of there's something fresh and contemporary and unique about this book. However, it's still very classic. It's going to register with anybody. Um, very simple tale. Poco is a frog. His parents give him a drum. Not the best choice for a gift. His parents realize this. So Poco goes outside to practice the drum. And as he goes outside, he goes through the forest. He sees lots of forest friends who bring their instruments. They bring other friends, other instruments. And pretty soon they've got a parade going through the forest. Hey, there we are. Look at that. It's just a great, sweet book. And at the end of the parade, you know what they do? They go back to the mushroom house where Poco lives. They pick up his mom and dad, and they say, where's Poco? Oh, he's leading the parade. It's awesome. It's just got such a happy story. And there are some slightly sublime, very funny elements that younger kids are going to hook onto. In other words, it's not a sweet, saccharinely, over-the-top fairy tale. There are stuff that modern audiences are going to latch onto and love. A uh, combination of the illustration, the graphic layout and the text just make it a perfect book. It really is awesome. It's Poco and the Drum. Uh, it's from uh, Matthew Forsyth. Pick it up and you will see why it was on so many best of 2019 lists once you read it. And this is Trey with Daddy Mojo.